Uh, quickly, just on the wide receivers, I thought two guys really helped themselves and Zay Jones and Chris Godwin, we talked about them, but guys that are good football players on tape, you maybe question how much deep speed they have, and they ace that test. Late season on fire, wide receiving core of Penn State. Chris Godwin, and that's better than I expected. Chris Godwin in the Rose Bowl, and we saw the, the incredible performance. McSorley from the pocket. Steps up, takes a downfield shot for Godwin. Who's got it, and he's still on his feet. And he's down near the 41-yard line. Uh, Penn State is starting to find their own rhythm, and they've been doing it by McSorley making plays. Good job of stepping up into the teeth of that defense, and it gives Godwin a chance to adjust well on the ball. Trojans bring some pressure. McSorley rolls away from it and heaves a long ball to the end zone for Godwin. Touchdown! Right on cue. He beats Adore Jackson. This was real close. We'll take another peek. But Penn State answers the answer. Wow, that is impressive. Not in field goal range. And that one somehow caught again by Godwin. It was way behind him. He reached back with one hand. And not only that, how about with the route? They just try to bring some pressure. McSorley steps up, takes a downfield shot for Godwin, who makes a catch and will scamper for a touchdown. Penn State's home run offense strikes again. Two plays, two. 70 plus yard touchdowns in the half. When we saw him compete for the ball in the air, those 50 50 balls, he won just about every one of those during the game, which helped him have such a monster deal. But it's also a game where going into it, I'm not sure we thought he would be one of the top three players on the field as we saw the USC quarterback was there. And of course, we saw Saquon Barkley, the running back out of Penn State. Not sure we thought Godwin would be third, but he was in that game. What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome back to Meet the Prospect here on PhiladelphiaEagles.com. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at one of the big winners from the National Scouting Combine, Penn State wide receiver Chris Godwin, 6'1", nearly 210 pounds. Everybody knows that Chris Godwin is really good at going up and attacking the football. That is the strength of his game, winning in those contested situations. Start this one from inside the 45, play action. They're going for the home. Have you ever been in a huddle and a play is called and you look over at Trace and just say, hey, throw it up. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, we, we have a couple play calls like that, you oh, know, yeah. like uh, where, where the play is called and, and we understand that, you know, the ball the ball's going to come to us. And just, yeah, like we tell Trace, uh, if he just gives us a, a shot, that we're going to go up and make the play. Play action. He's going to take a shot for the end zone again. Jump ball. Godwin's got a touchdown. Penn State. It should be a low scoring game, which makes red zone possessions that much more vital. Long throw to the end zone for Hackenberg, and he's got a hookup with Godwin. Chris Godwin, the true freshman, catches a perfectly thrown ball by Christian Hackenberg. Play action. He's got time. Hackenberg floats it downfield for Godwin. And Godwin is able to make the catch. Standing right next to Hackenberg, who gets the fake to him, looking the other way. Going to go one on one into the end zone. It Why is not? a flag and a touchdown. Chris Godwin. Saquon Barkley was the bright spot for Penn State's offense in the first half, but Hackenberg taking a downfield shot into coverage, and the catch is made by Godwin. Dragging Apple down near the 20 yard line. A second big play for the sophomore receiver. But we just said that if they're going to get back into this game, they're going to have to make some big plays in a pass game. Eli Apple's out there on an island, and he's a very, very talented corner on that particular play. Doesn't find the football, and a great adjustment by Godwin. It's a huge defensive stop, and now on first down, McSorley looking for the big play. Down the middle, got a man open, it is caught. Godwin inside the 20-yard line. Well, we didn't necessarily expect was his abilities at the combine athletically. He ran in the low 4-4s, four he tested well across the board, and for a player that size to test that well, it really, really helped his stock. How much did Penn State receiver and Delaware native Chris Godwin help yeah. his stock at the rep? Not only with the 40, but the bench press, the shuttle, you name it, he crushed it. 
Yeah, and to look at the composite score, which is what you're talking about with Chris Godwin, his athleticism is outstanding. He tests in the 89th percentile um, at 6'1", 200 and some odd pounds. I love Chris Godwin's game, and he always he already has this kind of specialty area, which is his contested catches. My buddy Matt Harmon charted his game this past year and said he, he came down with an 86% success rate in those contested situations, those 50-50 balls, which is the best in the last two draft classes. So now you add on the fact that he's just going to be 21 years old during his rookie year as well. I think Chris Godwin is locked into the second round, if not a little bit higher. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go. That's it. Keep working. Keep working. Let's go. Push. Come on. There you go. Come on now. Nineteen reps. Nineteen.